Folks, a change of scenery. I'm in the little office. I'm actually getting a bit of gear ready for the weekend. I'm at Boston, and I've also got a few matches coming up at Bonington as well, Golden Rod qualifiers. So, thought I'd go through all my method feeders, all my hybrid feeders, and change the elastic. Now, something I'm really keen on is just putting a slightly lighter elastic and an elastic that I've got loads of confidence in, in the shorter stems of the hybrid feeder. Now, one of the things that I know people have problems with, and I've had issues with this in the past, is tying that elastic so it doesn't slip. And tying the correct knot, because obviously you're putting loads of pressure on that elastic when you hook a big boy on that long range hybrid feeder. Tying that elastic so it doesn't slip and you've got ultra confidence in it. So, thought while I'm doing it myself, I'll run through how I tie the knot. So I'll get the camera, I'll put it over my shoulder, shoulder and show you exactly how I tie that little knot so you're ultra confident that it's not going to let you down. First things first, let's talk about the elastic that I like to use. So at Boston, I like to use these little tiny hybrid feeders for quite a lot of my winter fishing. I feel that just the right, right amount of bait, there's obviously skimmers, F1s, it's not all about big carp at um, Boston during the winter, but skimmers and F1s, you know, that's the ideal size feeder for, for, in my opinion. Because I'm using that small feeder, I'm using the shorter stem, and for me, that means I need to use quite a light elastic. Obviously, I want loads of elastic to come pull out when I'm playing a fish, get that feeder away from the hooked fish as far as possible. This is the elastic I'm using. It is Pink Shot Core. I use it in my pole. I've used it for F1s for years. It's fantastic elastic, really robust. I know it's going to come out loads when I hook a skimmer or an F1, but also I know it's not going to snap if I hook a massive carp. So for my shorter stems, that's the elastic I always end up using. Right, the reason you're all here, tying the knot. So, as you see there, I've cut the elastic at a bit of a chamfer, so it should be a lot easier to thread it through, thread it through the eye of this little hook. I don't know what you'd call that. It's the part that sits at the top of the guru feeder, that little hook, hook arrangement. So slide through there. And this is the knot, okay? So I'm gonna go leave a bit more of a tag for you to see. So I'm gonna go round, then I'm gonna come round itself, and I'm almost I, I, I'm, if I come through there, I'll tie a grain knot. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go around itself once back through the big loop. And you'll see that we've created sort of a figure of eight. Now if we pull that tie, what I actually like to do, I'm gonna to have to take this away from you for a second, is when I pull it tight, get some get because you need three hands really to make this to get this to work properly. Get some pliers on there. I'm gonna wet it and I'm gonna pull the tag end with my teeth while I pull the obviously the length, long length of elastic to, to bring it down. And what you'll end up with is a beautiful little knot. So trim that off. Obviously repeat that at the other end. What I like to do is use Use a little ring at the other end. So we've got, I think a ring is really nice and, and, and a really nice, neat way of attaching your line. So I'm just going to offer that up. So we can see there that that's, how, that's where we need to tie it. Same situation again. So we're going to go round and through. I'm going to grab that little ring with the pliers. That's actually a crimping tool, the pliers for this. And then pull that, pull that tight. Remember to wet it and then pull it tight. And there we have the finished, super strong, 
never going to let you down. Retired elastic. Quick as that, really strong knots. You know that elastic's not going to let you down. If it does, you've only got yourself to blame.